going to have you read. What? What? So one of you reads, and then you will stop when you see a little dot, and you summarize using these things that we've had before, and then you switch. So read, stop, summarize, switch. Mr. Martin. What? Like, uh, when, like when we read, are uh, Mr. Scientist evil? What? The guy that I say he is evil. The scientist that I say he is evil. Oh, like ecosystem? <coughs> yeah, the guy. Yeah. <coughs> I don't man, quite get that. Man, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna have them do this with me with each of the, with the books. But uh, I'll just use this one first. So let's see. Yeah, let's see that. So I'll give you all the book other classes, no. so we don't have to model it. And she is showing this. So. Uh, so she can show other teachers how not to do it. Uh, or maybe, you know, again, this slide might be a cautionary tale. So let's have one start first. Who's one? I'll read it. Okay. So you'll read first, and you'll summarize together, and then you switch. Remember, you put the details in each of these. Now, so you're going to do this from, from two pages. All right? Tell me when you're up. Okay. It's okay. Be breath. Okay. Read Yay, you better. Welcome. Billy doesn't have a party. Yeah. Things that he needs again. He yeah. just gets okay. All right. Mr. He doesn't have a party. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody has to be quiet. This will just take a minute. Wait. Ah. Okay. It turned off. Story of rocks. Cindy rock at your feet. Pick it up, hold it in your hands. Is it smooth and sparkly? Yes, it's soft and sandy. It is marked with the shape of a shell. Look closely at the rock and you can learn its story. Sweet. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, and did you read the part at the bottom? That one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Some rocks are four billion years old. That's <coughs> four, four, four billion. billion years. Think of all the stories rocks can tell. Okay. So all right. Wow. So you're writing, you're writing the details. Yes. And, and I like that you're using your fingers for that. You should yes. use that finger. That's right. Okay. In this culture. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Which one? I use this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So you should be talking to each other, talking and pointing. Good. Okay. All right, now before you right. switch on, why don't you read that sentence out loud, your little summary out loud. Okay, the details are rock, sandy, sparkly, and soft. The rocks are smooth and sparkly, and there are more than, there are more. Okay. Okay. That's one way to do it. So you read, you summar, uh, read, stop, summarize, switch. Now you're at the next one. Okay? A lot of things can happen to rocks. Okay, could, could you read with, read with your finger? It helps, helps her keep up. Helps your partner. A lot of things can happen to rock. They can crack. They can break into a million tiny pieces. They can per they can be pressed or squeezed together. Okay. Now you see the stopping point here. Through the book, we did this. We did this with the Max Axiom series too. You look through. You don't look at the words. You just look through and see what this is. So, so for example, I could say, oh, this this person is out. Collecting, collecting rocks. It looks like they have, they have different ones. She's walking around. This person picks this up and sees things, and maybe it looks like they're smelling it. It looks like they're smelling it. There are some rocks that do have a smell, but they're probably examining it closely. Maybe feeling the texture. Maybe looking at patterns, trying to determine its composition. 
Over maybe here. It have layers. Uh -huh. Maybe it has layers. Okay, over here we see some stripes. Maybe there's some layers. This is a, a different sort of rock. We have a rock here that has some some Co deep, is that deep the colors. That, that would be a good question. Maybe you could ask your partner, is this a sedimentary rock? Why do you think it is? Why do you, okay. All right. So you remember how to do it? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that kind of the same way. You can just look at this together and talk about it. You don't really have to go back and forth. If you want to go back and forth, I'll summarize this page and you do the next one. You can do that or you can just go through it together. Okay? This should take about five minutes. You know what to do? Yeah. Raise your hand if you, uh, uh, give me a thumbs up if you know what to do. Give me a thumbs down if you don't know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if you're like, eh. Okay. All right. So, just for for the couple people with the thumbs sideways or down, you are just looking at the pictures with your partner and talking about it first. Just going through it and looking, not looking at the words, just looking at the pictures. You just finished. You did the whole thing? You need to go slow. You need to get the floor. Okay. Okay.
<laughs> like if you go to a Justin Bieber concert, there are many lights flashing all around. It's kind of sparkly. Okay. All right. Okay. So remember, now we stop. Now we summarize. So what are some details? So what are some words? We okay. So you could say, what would we write here? Smooth and sparkly, maybe? Smooth or sparkly? Okay. Like a snake in Okay. Maybe a question mark. Smooth and sparkling. This is um, all right. What would be the next thing we might write? Uh huh. Soft and sandy. Question mark. Sometimes rocks can be soft without being sandy. <laughs> Okay, is it marked? Marked. What does that mean? Say uh, kind of. So, so them into so when that is bad into neck legs and so this is stored here. This is stored here. So if it says it twice, I think it's important. If they, if they repeat it, then maybe it's an important thing to write. So we have to say something about stories. What can we say about stories? Okay. Okay. okay, so think of the stories we're asking to tell. So what does that mean? So, what have stories? Uh -huh, but what things have stories? That's right, so rocks have stories. So you, you look at these things, you can write up stories. Okay, think of all the stories rocks can tell. So what can you write here? There you go. Rocks have stories. Or each rock has a story. Uh, below, above. Okay. So, yeah, above, below, or underneath. So, like your feet are underneath the table. No, they're they're still underneath. Them. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's summarize. Uh -huh. So what can we, how can we summarize this? Okay. One
It's one of those many words in this book for a little piece of something. Uh, like a little piece of dust or a piece of rock, like a grain of sand, something very small. <coughs> this, because she grabbed the paper. We just went over this. You need to lift and turn, not squeeze it. What you Uh, It's for... What? Okay. All right. So let's look at uh, <coughs> here. Brown. Table. Oh, no. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Make it red. Okay. Table three, read passage one. Who will it be? Let's hear from you. What was your summary? <coughs> read your summary. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. Go. See the rock at your feet. Pick the rock. Look closely at the rock. And look at Ah. Okay. Good. Now, at first, it sounded like you were just copying from the book, uh, but then you said so. You look at the rock, and you can see its story. Okay. All right. Let's do. Passage two, let's see who's going to do that. Table two. Passage two, how about your group? Melissa and um, Brent. Manisha, yes. So read passage two. What did you say? Table three. Okay. 